dead end. Megan banned using title in both UK and US as utilizing for self-interest in flaming rage. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex should stop using their royal titles to promote their business deals or political views, exclusive Sunday Express polls in the US and UK reveal today. The surveys also found that Meghan's popularity has dropped sharply here and across the Atlantic. It follows her apology to the Court of Appeal last week that she did not reveal she had cooperated with the authors of controversial biography Finding Freedom. There were also shock disclosures of emails revealing she acknowledged a letter to her father could be leaked. Last night a palisade was reported as saying that Meghan's apology to the court showed why legal action was best avoided. A newspaper reported the aid as saying, perhaps this gives them the understanding of why the royals don't like to get into court cases. It's not like this wasn't going to happen. There is no gleeful dancing about it, nobody is wearing the told you so t-shirt, they are family members. Meghan has also attracted recent criticism for using her royal title when making a series of cold calls to US politicians to lobby for federal paid parental leave. Asked should the couple use their royal titles for business or political purposes? 73% in the UK and 59% in the US said they should stop. When asked has your opinion of Meghan Markle changed in light of the court revelations, 29% in the UK said it has reduced and 62% said their opinion had remained the same. In the US, 20% said they thought less of her now. In Britain, people were divided when asked should the couple lose their titles of Duke and Duchess. Almost half of UK respondents, 48%, believe the couple should be stripped of their titles compared to a third, 33%, in the US, where they live with son Archie, 2, and daughter Lilibet, 5 months. It comes after a week of legal turmoil for Meghan, 40, in her privacy case against the Mail on Sunday newspaper. The Duchess was forced to apologize for forgetting to reveal her cooperation with the writers of Finding Freedom at an earlier hearing. Hitherto unseen texts between her and former top Kensington Palace aide Jason Canalf also showed she acknowledged that a letter to her estranged father Thomas Markle, the subject of the paper's legal appeal, could end up being made public. In court documents released on Friday, it was revealed that Harry, 37, suffered constant berating from Prince Charles over Meghan's toxic relationship with her father and his dealings with the media. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited Task Force Liberty in New Jersey. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex paid a visit to Afghan refugees on Thursday where they spent time singing with children who are learning English. To mark Veterans Day, Meghan and Prince Harry stopped by Task Force Liberty during their visit to Joint Base Maguire Dix Lakehurst in New Jersey, where they met with service members from all six branches of the military. According to a spokesperson for the couple, Harry and Meghan spoke with women who had recently arrived at Task Force Liberty, home to over 10,000 Afghan refugees, and visited a classroom full of children who were learning the English words for colors. The couple even led a rendition of the song, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, which the children sing to help them learn the language. Sharing an insight into their own family life. Harry and Meghan revealed that the classic nursery rhyme is one of Archie's favorites after they were told the song is very popular among the children. Harry and Meghan engaged with children one-on-one, -on -one, many of whom used the opportunity to practice their English by saying phrases like nice to meet you. The couple even picked up some phrases in Dari, the most widely spoken language in Afghanistan, and are said to have left every interaction with children and adults alike saying Tashaku which means thank you.